Hello, and welcome back to uh, Lace's podcast here. I'll apologise first, it's been a long time, but I've been pushing hard on God's War, which leads me into my first question here, which people have been kind enough to send in. When will your upcoming novel, God's of War, come out? Well, God's of War is out now. You can go to Amazon, you can, uh, you can buy it on pre-order, and it will be delivered to your device, your electronic device of your choosing, on the 18th of August, so a couple of weeks away. Uh, buy it now. A couple of hundred people have already, over 200 people have already bought it. I'm hoping for another, maybe the same, in the final two weeks. So is that will give it a good push. So yeah, ready to go. Good stuff. Next question here is, what are your future goals in your career? I have to say that the bottom line really, I mean, I enjoy writing and I like the freedom of uh, being able to choose what I write because I'm, because I'm an independent that sort of thing, but really at the end of the day, you've got to earn some money. So, yeah, sadly, you have to say the future goal is to make enough money to, to, to have a reasonable lifestyle, which is what we all do, obviously, but you know, I'm doing something that, that I love and enjoy if I can make enough money to do that. That's fantastic. Uh, question three here, what's the most important thing when writing? I would say uh, generalisation, of course, but the most important thing with writing, I think, is perseverance. You know, you do it. It will take you hundreds of hours to write a book. Um, you know, all, all of that planning that goes into it, sitting there, writing away, night after night, day after day, whenever you do your writing on the train, in the shop. You know, it's perseverance because not every day is going to be easy. Some days will be easier, easier than others, but you know, lots of people think they can write a book. Some of those people will actually start. Some of those people will actually get to the end, and some of those people, you know, will actually make more of a pound out of it. You know, they sold the books to their mum or something. So it's perseverance. It really is. You know, just just keep on going, keep 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 on going. And most people who do that, you know, it might take them a few years, but but they they start selling books. And they get better, and they, every book gets better. And they can go back to their earlier books, and they can improve those books. And they just keep on, keep on, keep on. It's the same with anything in life, you know, you just keep on going. You'll probably get there. You know, it's up to you, it's perseverance. Um, what's your favourite part about writing a book? Luckily for me, I think I'm just coming up to it. Um, uh, as I just said, you know, the, the, the actual process of writing a book is quite intense. It's uh, for a few months, I'm there every day, all day. Sometimes I'm up at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, writing away, that sort of thing, getting that first draft down. But but once the book's up and you've done it really is just as good as you can, you know, it's it's that bit between finishing one and starting another. When you decide what the next one's going to be about, uh, you you do all your um, your your. Your sort of background work and that sort of thing. Read books like this for our next one, Britannia the Failed State. Warlords in Britain, Britain in the Dark Ages. This is a map and that sort of thing. So, all this sort of stuff that nerdy people like me used to read anyway can actually sort of go into, uh, in, into uh, your, your next work. You've got the old fire install, which is my last previous work, which I use uh, for flicking through just to look up you know, things that have happened in the past, just to keep the, 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 the thing going. Uh, but, but that's really the, the, the best part to think of it, really. It's, it's when, when this, this world that doesn't exist, your head is forming in your mind, and it can go in any direction, uh, and you've got complete control over it, you know? It, it, it's, it's an exciting part of it, it's good. Uh, what should I write about, as in you? Well, you should obviously write about something that you want to write about, you know. Um, a book will take hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours, and back at the top, perseverance to write. You know? So it's, it's a hard old thing. And if you're writing about something just because, uh, well, let's take for example of, of uh, the genre I write in, historical fiction. The vast majority of horror historical fiction is written about Rome. Uh, you know, people will read anything about Rome, and there's lots of books, and there's hundreds of authors in there writing about Roman centurions and this and that, and uh, you know, the, the same old thing again and again. I'm just not interested in Rome, and I've tried to write things about Rome because that's where the money is, if you like. 
and it bores me to tears, you know. If I wanted to be bored to tears, I'd go and get a job down the road in the supermarket or, or go and work in an office or something, you know, I wouldn't be a writer. So write what you want to do. If, if, if you're interested in space travel, time travel, whatever you're interested in, you know. I mean, you know, there, there, there are people that, that are also interested in that. And it's the same, it's the old saying really, isn't it? You know, if, if you're doing something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So that's what you should do. You should, you should write about what you want to do yourself, you know, what you're interested in. What were the early influences on your writing and how do they manifest in your work? I mean, I've always had a, a love of history, but I think... Um, uh, it's, 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 I mean, obviously, you know, I've read the, the, the usual, uh, the Ben Cain's and, and uh, the Harry Sidebottom's world and that sort of thing. And, and they do influence what you write, obviously, you know, you, you, you learn to structure your book. I always, I mean, what I've learned really is, 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 is they like a big event at the start, and then you can you can build up to something, and it, ha it has to end in an exciting way as well. So that's the structure of the book. Um, again, that will change with different genres, but I mean, that's something that definitely works with his speech. But but yeah, that, that's what I'd say, that, you know, an influence, and that, and that would be how it influenced my own books. How does your writing, how does writing change the writer? The process of writing change the writer, very good. Um, you know what, I think, um, in a way, it takes you out of society. You know, you, because you've got so many, all these ideas and things going on in your head all the time, you, you, you're, no longer, you're no longer in the mainstream of, of, of people going to work, coming home, sitting in front of the TV, watching the Olympics, going to work to come out of football, that sort of thing. You know, the, 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 the things that, that society puts there, to keep your mind occupied, or, or you know, not thinking, maybe, um, you know, to get to keep a leash on you all. When you're a writer, you don't have that, you know, you, because even if you, you, you very quickly um, lose the ability to, to watch TV programmes because they keep repeating the same thing again and again. And then, like every fifteen minutes, you get adverts on, and it's like the same three or four adverts about some washing powder and things. And you think, my God. You know, shoot me. Uh, you've got you've so, so much stuff going on in your own head that, uh, that it just seems flippant. Yeah. But that, I think it does change you as a writer. It, it does, um, uh, you are, uh, got to be, you've got to be comfortable in your own mind. Uh, uh, a thoughtful person who sits there thinking. I mean, you, you'll, you'll take things from outside, you'll take up for instances, obviously. But it won't be the mainstream things, it won't be talk about football all the time, it won't be, I don't know, watching some soap or something, you know, you're, you're more of an individual. Uh, right, change as a writer. What books have fortified you as a writer? I think, um, I, I think I'd have to go back to the, what are called the Icelandic sagas. Uh, the, 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 there's a large series of, of, of these sagas that were written in Iceland, in the about sort of 12, 13, 14 hundreds they were finally written down, but they, they pretty much all deal with um, the time around the settlement of Iceland, which is around the year 900, sort of like about 30, 40 years either side of 900. And uh, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're about normal families and, and how they settled there uh, in a hostile climate, but also all, all the sorts of things that you, you know from your own family of, you know, errant children and, uh, um, you know, murderous uncles and God knows what, you know. And, uh, and you, you know, it, it, you realise that these things have gone on forever. You know, you recognise um, characters and, and that sort of thing, you know. From someone hundreds of years ago, it was written down hundreds of years ago after their, these things happened, and it's now hundreds of years again in the future. So. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's that, that's something that's um, that, that's interested me and, and you know sort of driven me on as a writer really. The next one is how do you use social media to promote your writing? Well, everyone uses social media now. Um, in a way, it, it's less use because it's so popular now. Strangely, it's less use of a writer because you, 
there are thousands and thousands of writers all flooding the, the, the internet with uh, with tweets and God knows what, I buy my book and this and that. So I do a reasonable amount. Um, everyone does. Everything I do, I try to put my um, web page on, the link back to my web page. So if anyone sort of clicks on cliffordbay.com, they'll come back to my web page where I can actually um, uh, they can actually see my books and they can read what I've written and, and uh, th things about me more than just a few words on a tweet and that sort of thing. But I think um, that there is so much social media now that you've got to link back to, in my case, a website. And your website is the best place to take people. Um, so yeah, it, 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 I don't think social media is such, is such a great thing. It's a tool to get you to get people, if you like, so to steer people, to guide people to somewhere which is better. So yes, I do I do a reasonable amount. It's not worth spending too much time on because that's time, you've only got so much time. You want to be writing during that time, you know, that's what people, people want to read your books. They don't want to read your tweet saying, I've got a five star review, I'm so fantastic, because there's a thousand people every minute doing that. So that, that, that's, that's the limit of social media for me. Uh, when you hear from your readers, what do they usually say? Give up! Don't do it anymore. I don't know that. I don't, luckily, I, I, I'm pretty much always um, it's been positive. Um, I, I get some great reviews and then some really, really nice things said to me. Sometimes I get some things that aren't so great, and that's and that's just just the way things are. But you expect that. But no, they generally say that they enjoy my stories. Um, it, it's. You know, and they want me to read more and they're going to go and read some more books. Uh, that's fantastic. Thank you. If, that's been, if you're one of those, thank you very much. It's appreciated. Describe your writing style in 10 words or less. All right, here we go. Um, my writing style in 10 words or less are well, well researched historical fiction, uh, action packed. Well, that'll do. That's less than 10. Action packed, well researched historical fiction. Or with, normally with uh, a little bit of the old gods chucked in there as well. It's a little bit more than 10, but you have to bring a bit out there. Right. Uh, how do you keep from resenting your duties and every human sleeping requirement when they have to stop writing and take care of them? I think that's what, that, what it means there is, you know, how do you stop resenting having to do other things other than writing? Well, yeah, you know, you, you just do. It's, it's part of, of, of being a, a well-rounded individual, if you like. I have to say that I mean, although sometimes I, you know, I do write in the night, I do write during the day, it's very draining. I find it very draining um, mentally. It's, it, you do, it, it, it's, that does sound strange, but it is exhausting writing, you know. It, it, it's using your brain that hard. Maybe it's my brain, it's not very big. But, um, but it, it, it's a bit of a break. You know, to, to go and cook something, or you know, certainly everyone's got to sleep. And if if you didn't feel, you know, if you, if you felt tired, then uh, then you wouldn't be able to to rest much. But they're, they're just um, they're not things to be resented. It's, it's it's just part of being life. You know, you can't do one thing for a, for your whole life. If you, you be a one-dimensional character, so it's, there's no resentment there at all. What technology do you use for writing? That's the main part of my tech technology variety, my iMac here. Um, also, I've got an um, iPad as well, which I use. I use those both in conjunction. So m most of my stuff is, is tapped out here on the iPad, on, on pages. Uh, but now, I mean, I've only just got this. It's only, it's only God's of what I've written on this one, really. Um, now I write, whereas before I used to write in, in a normal folder, now I write in the cloud. So with my iPad, I can go into the cloud, I'll access the cloud from my iPad, and I can, uh, after that night, after I've written stuff, and I can go through what I've written, and I can actually change it on the, on the iPad, so it changes in the cloud. So when I turn on my iMac the next day, the changes are already made. It's, it's, it's been a real great help for me, because before, I used to have to send files here, there, and everywhere. I had to highlight things on Kindle, and then I had to take the Kindle physically next to the computer, go through it all, change your things on the computer, you know, and, that's, and, it, and it was, it just seems archaic now. But it's only been this year I've been using iMac, and it's, it's been a real help, it's great. So, 
I'm an Apple boy now, um, working in the cloud, and and it's it's been great. That that that's technology a, te a technological leap forward for me. I have to say. Uh, right, what is the least favourite part of the writing process? I think really, um, the least favourable part for me really is, is the um, is, is a the the the, 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 I don't know, the competition between people really. You know, all this as I said before, there's so many writers now saying all over the place. Oh, I've got five star reviews and this and that, and, and and lots of people, and also so as well. What annoys me is that uh, it's it's the same with, with most of the arts, of you know, um, artists, TV, film, all those sort of things, you know, painters, writers, they tend to be from one social group. So they all went to go to the best schools together and they know people, they know the right people. Um, they might not be the best writers or the best painters or they might not be the best actors, but their dad was an actor or their mum knows someone who used to be an author and that sort of thing. And they all get jobs for that and I read their stuff and it's no better than books, you know, uh, for the, 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 the guys who, who went to comprehensives and normal schools and come from the estate. You know, it's, they're just getting ahead because of, of their family size and things and uh, that is unfair. It, as unfortunately, it's something that does happen in, in all walks of life and everything in the country. It does seem to be in the um, in, in the artistic world, if you like, it, it is concentrated. Maybe because there's less people involved. Uh, you know, uh, the, the normal boys like me don't really get a chance. I don't want to be part of that particularly, but uh, I, it is unfair. Um, it's just the facts of life, but uh, but that yeah, really for me is is the least favourite part of it. I so. What's the earliest memory you have of writing a story? Well, professionally writing a story will be with Sorrow Hill, obviously, my first book about three and a half years ago. Uh, my my memory of that really is apart from the fact that some of you think, well, actually, you know, I've written three chapters here. I'm, and in fact, I remember once saying I've, I've sent to people I've written eight thousand words, like hey, eight thousand words. You know, I mean, that's what. Couple of chapters, so um, but but I mean at the time we didn't have much money and it was it, it was a freezing cold winter, and sitting in my bedroom on a bed box with a with a, a wobbly old um, little wobbly plastic um, camping table with my laptop on it, trying to write and every now and then putting gloves on or put my arm my hands underneath my armpits, you know, it's, it's like something out of a film. But, but just to warm my hands up a bit so that I could uh, I could write on. I mean that's that's um, the earliest memory really of professional writing. Last question here is: Do you have any advice on how to start writing? Um, you know what? I, I, you know I, I think I, I said earlier about my favourite part of writing is is the preparation for a book and getting your, all your stuff together and working and through the story in your mind. <clears throat> But don't take that process too far, you know. Get some work, that, get some some writing down, because you, you, your story can't progress until you've written some, obviously. But one thing will lead to another. I mean, I know some of the top writers. Uh, this is how I work, and some other top writers in my field. But certainly, uh, Bernard Cornwall, most people probably would have known of. He does TV work. Um, Anthony Richards writes Roman stuff. He has, he's said the same thing to me as well. But. You, you pretty much know the start, and you know where you want to get to at the end. But that journey in the middle, you don't really know what's happened. I mean, sometimes I, I liken it to saying, I don't know, driving somewhere. You know you're going to leave home. You know you're going to arrive at this destination. But you've got no idea what's going to happen on the motorway in between. So don't go too far trying to, um, you know, sort of trying to work out every every chapter as it goes along, sort of thing. You know? Start writing and it will lead you from one place to the next. It will just, just lead you on like a journey. And that's it. That's the last of the questions. So thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll get back to you a bit sooner next time. Keep sending the questions in because it's great stuff having a look through and seeing what people people like to write and what people are interested in. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Goodbye.